Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bunch of new stuff that I wanted to kind of play with with you. We went shopping, so I went to Ulta and then I went to Marshalls. As you know, you can get some really great deals at Marshalls, and I did. So I thought since I picked up some new stuff from Ulta and then some stuff at Marshalls, I would share it with you. So we're going to do mostly a full face of stuff I just got. So if you like this video, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love having you here. Without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing I got was the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Everybody is talking about this on the internet, so I wanted to try it. So we are going to go ahead and start with that. I got the color Fair 150C, which is the cool color. So as you can see by my goblin face. I actually have a lot of pink in my skin. I have a fairly uh, pink undertone. And I actually find that, especially in more affordable makeup, it's hard to find kind of a pink uh, undertone in your makeup. So I was very excited to see this. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus comes in like a rosy color, but I don't really like that one. It's a little dry on my skin. So, um,. I figured we would try this today. So before I do go in with this, I am going to use the Hangover RX from Too Faced. I like this because it's a little moisturizing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bunch of that on because you don't know, you don't know if you're not watching the news or I don't know, you live under a rock, I don't know, whatever reason. Uh, I live in Texas and um, it's cold here. Like, people can't drive. They're causing 100 car pileups. It's cold. So, my skin is feeling it. So, I like this one more for its moisturizing properties than its any other properties. I find it just moisturizes my skin really well. So, I use that. So, and I picked that up a couple weeks ago at Marshall's as well. I have another video where you can see that. So I'm going to start and just go in with the e.l.f. camo. Ooh. I've dropped everything today. I broke my favorite blush and I was very sad. Using the e.l.f. camo CC cream. So I'm going to put it on. I have a new brush that I want to use, but I'm going to use the one I always use just to make sure I get, you know, the most realistic results. So... I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, so like that. And the way I typically do my foundation is I kind of rub it on the back of my hand and then dot it. Where's my little mirror? The little mirror that you're all going to be like, get that out of your face. I got to see. So I'm just going to start by, hopefully this is a good color, putting it just a little bit around my face. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. blending brush and just start blending it in all the way up under the eyes. Just really get in there. So I don't always need like the fullest coverage foundation. Most of the time when I'm getting ready, I'm going to work and I don't work more than a couple hours at a time. So on a day to day, I don't need a huge full coverage foundation and concealer. It's just not that important to me. So I would say this is on first application, not full coverage. Um, which is fine, you know, it's a, a CC cream. I don't think I'm even gonna use all that I have on my hand here. So I'm just gonna put some here on my forehead. Get this hair out of the way. Ugh. And bring that out. I'm gonna try and use my mirror that's over here. So I'm not ignoring you, I'm just using the mirror. So blend that out. I'm going to put it on my eyelids because it's what I always do. It's hot in this room. Like it's cold outside. It's like 30 something degrees but it's hot in this room. This is the warmest room of my house. 
and you add lights in. It's a good time. So let's see, let's finish blending this out. Let me blend a little bit down. So the color match actually seems pretty good, which is exciting. So I'm gonna look at it up close. So it has pretty good coverage. Um, you can still see some imperfections coming through. That's okay with me. Again, I'm not into total full coverage all the time. And it is more of a CC cream, so, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. So I think it looks really nice. You like my hair? My daughter did it for me. Uh, it's a little dewy. It's not matte. And it doesn't look like it's going to dry down really matte. So I like it. We'll see how it dries down and reacts with the concealer I'm gonna use. Let me just finish making sure this is all set. Down and blended. So, okay. So off first blush, I like it. I use two pumps and as you can see, I didn't even use all of it. So a little goes a long way. Now again, if you like more full coverage, you might use all of it, but it is what it is. We all like different things. You wear however much you want to wear. So, ooh, got something in my eyelash. So the next thing we're gonna try is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I don't know if you're aware. I am not in my 20s, and I have not 20 year old under eyes. So finding a hydrating concealer that's not stupid expensive uh, is a big deal for me. So we're gonna try this out. And we're going to see how it works. I don't typically wear concealer all the time. It's pretty rare that I actually wear it. Usually I just bring uh, my foundation up under my eyes. And if I want more coverage, I just put in a little bit more. So let's see how this works. And I got the color Fair Rose. Again, I like that it has more of a pink undertone. So when I do my concealer, I go in with a dry sponge. You can see I used this in my last makeup video. So it's dirty. Ignore it. It's fine. So... Here we go. And I'm just going to use this under my eyes because it's a little bit lighter. I'm not going to worry about any blemishes you can see because it doesn't matter to me. It's not something I would normally do. So I'm just going to use this the way I normally would. So you get this nice big applicator. It smells funny. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells funny. So again, I'm going to go with my little mirror and I'm just going to put, we're going to start with just a little because I've never used it. I don't want to be looking crazy up in here and so typically what I do is I let it dry down just a little bit because you get a little more coverage out of it so I'm gonna let it sit for just a second so now I'm gonna go in with my sponge and I'm gonna start kind of at the bottom and then blend out and up so we're gonna start on the side that I put the concealer on first I'm gonna start at the bottom and kind of drag it out and then up and around it looks funny under my studio lights I'm sorry we're still working on figuring out what the best lighting set is. and I can't move things tons because I have my desk and everything else in here so we got to work around in the space that we have so there's one side blend it out and we're gonna go do the other so then we're gonna start at the bottom and work out and up. I felt like a dry sponge because it doesn't soak up as much product and I think to, for me it doesn't leave it as patchy. I find with a wet sponge a lot of times things look a little patchy. We're just going to take the excess onto our eyelids. Get ready for eyeshadow. So it blends out fairly easily. And on first impression, it looks good. Um, it's a little hard to tell in my lights, so I'm gonna look in the monitor. And I don't, I don't know if I would call it full coverage, but again, I don't wear a lot of full coverage concealer. It's just not my jam. I don't mind if you can see a little bit of discoloration, y'all. I got three teenagers. I'm tired. There's nothing you can do to like make it not look like I'm tired. But if you want a little more coverage, you can go in with a setting powder that's got some color to it. So it seems to work well with the, the um, CC cream. So 
so that's nice. So overall, I like the way it looks. I'm sorry, my mirror keeps getting in your way, but I'm gonna get all up in here. So, and I'm gonna set it the way I normally do, which is using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh um, powder and just this little double-sided brush. And I don't set it real heavy, I don't bake, I just press it in enough so that it's not gonna slide around. And honestly, you guys, I'm 36 years old. I know, it's shocking. Um, nine times out of 10, I can't tell you if my concealer's freezing or if it's just cause I got 36 year old under eyes and they're a little, you know, they got wrinkles. It's fine, it's just part of getting older, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me, but sometimes it makes it hard to tell if it's the concealer or it's just my face. Just my face. So, that's about all we're going to do. So, um, I think it looks pretty nice. I'd wear it. We'll see how I feel later. This is not going to be a wear test. I will just let you know. So, there's that. Okay, so that's all that we got from Ulta. I'm not doing my brows because 90% of the time, I don't do my brows anyway. I just don't care that much. They're just not important to me. You guys, I watched a Jaclyn Hill video the other day. And she went on and on about how she hates doing her brows and she wishes they weren't trendy and that she didn't have to do them. And I was like, so don't. Just don't. You have such a huge fan base that if you stop doing your eyebrows and putting so much emphasis on them, maybe people would stop. Like, if you love doing your brows, that's fine. Like, go you. I don't. It's just not important to me. I'm trying to open this new powder I got so I can show it to you. I'm about to hand this off. Okay, so technical difficulties have been solved. I just popped some eyeshadow on because it's nothing I bought recently, so I didn't want to like take up time. So this is the uh, MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the color light. I got this at Marshalls. Ooh, let me just, what did I do here? So you were supposed to pull the plastic off, not the lid. So it comes with the little sifter like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top back on and I'm gonna turn it and just kind of shake some out. So you don't get a ton. And I'm just gonna take a big powder brush because that's normally what I do. Tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. I'm not going up where I set my concealer because it's a little bit lighter than what I use to set my concealer. I'm just gonna brush that on. So generally when I go to Marshalls to buy makeup, I don't just buy stuff because it's there. I usually go and I have an idea of things that I want, especially higher end makeup. And if it's there, I'll buy it, but I don't tend to just go and buy stuff for the sake of buying stuff. Because if you're going to places like Marshall's to save money, and then you just buy crap because it's there and you don't want it, you didn't already want it, are you really saving money? The answer to that's no. You're just buying stuff because it's there, so don't do that. Go in kind of knowing what you already want and things that you already pay for. That feels pretty good. I don't use a ton of powder to set my face. So the powder looks pretty good. Let's get that eyebrow back where it needs to be. So we're gonna move on. So the next thing I got was the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the color Tantastic, and I got it for $16.99. First of all, this bronzer is huge. So a $17 bronzer that's this big, if it works on your skin tone, is a good deal. And uh, this bronzer is normally way more it says $23 here I think it's actually like 30 some dollars when I looked it up so and this is one I already wanted so I was super excited to see it there let's take this out so this is how big this bronzer is look how huge that is for $17 so I've never tried this let's get a swatch Ooh, it feels nice so that's what it looks like So it's a nice color. Hopefully it's not too warm for my skin, but if it is, we're gonna make it work anyway because 
we bought it. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I don't use tons of bronzer so we're just going to go in nice and light handed especially because we're not familiar with this. We don't want to be looking too much some way. So I'm not bringing my bronzer higher up. My goal is always to kind of lift my face and make it look like that, not to bring roundness to the face. So I bring it pretty high up on the cheekbone. And then after I get the initial, I'll bring it down a little, kind of blend it. So you do your bronzer, however you wanna do, whatever works for your face. This makeup's always about what works for your face more than anything else. You know, there's all these unspoken rules of makeup, but generally it's gonna come down, get that hair out of the way, to what works for your face shape and your style of makeup. Everybody wants something different from their makeup. My hair is looking out of control. So do what's gonna look good on your skin and what you like. I'm gonna bring a little bit under the jaw, down the neck just so everything blends out nicely. It's always a little hard to tell how things actually look in studio style lighting because it, what it looks like on the monitor isn't necessarily what it looks like in real life. That's why I always have like a little mirror here. I have one right here, but it's not as close up, so it's hard to... So I'm going to do something I like to do. I like to take my bronzer sometimes like all the way across the bridge of my nose, the place where the sun would actually hit my face. So that's what I'm feeling like doing today because it's cold and I just want a little something something. And I don't use anywhere near as much for this, just enough to kind of bring a little bit of warmth to the center of the face. So that's what I'm going to do. So, okay. I really like that. I think it looks nice on the skin because it's freezing outside. Okay, so that was that. So now I don't know which one I want to use because I got a couple of highlighters. So I got the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter, but then I got this trio of Becca highlighters and it's like little mini ones. It's the Becca by Barbie Ferrer. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. And it comes with a little champagne pop, a little rose quartz and French vanilla. But the Stila one is called Heaven's Hue and it's this super pretty purple and I love a purple highlighter. Like, it's so pretty. But I think I might actually try one of the Becca's because I'm curious. I'm very excited. I was super pumped to find these. I'm obviously not wearing any blush and I really don't feel like putting any on. That's what we're doing here today, you guys. We're just trying stuff. Good time. I don't always wear blush. A lot of times if I wear bronzer, I don't wear blush. If I wear blush, I don't wear bronzer. No particular reason. I'm just... So in the interest of getting on board, I never tried champagne pop. I never tried it because it was expensive and I didn't want to buy like a full size highlighter that I didn't know if I was going to like. So I've never bought it. But when I found like these cute little minis, so this is champagne pop. I was like, let's try it. I'll show you all of them. This is vanilla. It's white with like a gold shift to it. Really pretty. And this is rose quartz, which is beautiful and pink and so pretty to look at. And I do wear a lot of pink highlighters, so I know I'll use that. But in the interest of I've never done it, hashtag my first time, we're gonna try the little Becca highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. I like this style of brush for my highlighter. I'm gonna use whatever brush makes you happy. I'm gonna get my mirror. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. So we're just gonna go in. I hope it works. Like, I've never tried it. I've heard it's like really flattering for everybody, but who knows? Who knows what YouTube tells you is true or not? I need my mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. So, looking straight into my camera, I don't see like any cast or anything on my face. So, there's that. Ooh, a 
on this side you can see it. Like over here, my camera kind of washes it out. Look at that. Ooh, you see pretty. So since I'm not wearing any blush, let's do something fun. Let's find that rose quart one, this pink one, and we're going to put that down the nose because I normally put blush on my nose. So let's do that. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, she's pink. Ooh, it's pretty though. I like it. So typically I do run blush down my nose because I like the way it looks. So we're going to put that there. Look, it's so shiny. Woo! That's nice. So we will try the Stila one another time. I'll give you a swatch so you can... It feels nice. They say it's kind of putty-ish and I would agree. So I'm going to swatch this under the bronzer on my hand. So, ooh, you can't see that. It's kind of this really pretty pink, uh, purple shift and I really like it. It's like a pinky purple. So it's really iridescent and pretty. I really like it. So I'm going to try that another time. Another time off with some of this crap off my desk I got a couple lip products and I don't know which one I want to use so I got the Milani what is it called keep it full like plumping lip gloss and this is the color pink quartz and then we found some more of the lime prime lip toppers and we got the color choke Lime crime. I think I just got mascara on my eye. I felt it happen. It's all right. We'll clean that up later. It's fine. I need to spoolie and to let it dry. And this one is called Heirloom, and it's a real pretty bright, like pinky corally color. So I actually think I'm gonna try that. I am gonna put a lipstick down underneath it because they are lip toppers and they do get a little dry. So I'm just gonna use a nude lipstick underneath just so it doesn't get super uncomfortable and this is nude embrace by maybelline i really like this one it's very moisturizing but it's still a matte lipstick and this is still drying so ignore it we will clean it off at the end before we finish this video so we're gonna try out this lip topper and I don't mind going pink because I went fairly neutral on my eyes. Not that, that would stop me. And these are very glittery. So if you are not into glittery lips, girl, don't buy these. Even if they're on sale, you won't like them. But my favorite color is glitter. So I really like this color. It's very pretty. Super glittery like I said if you are not into glittery lips this is not for you but I do I love it so I'm gonna find my spoolie we're gonna clean up this mascara and then finish up this video so anytime you get mascara on your lids or whatever just wait for it to dry down and then grab a little spoolie. It can be the one on your eyebrow pencil or whatever, but you gotta wait till it's dry and just brush it away. If you want, you can touch up your powder. I'm just gonna use what was on my brush. Just cover that back in and you're good to go. So that was everything, you guys. So I really, oh gosh, that champagne pop is so pretty. I really like it. So I really enjoyed everything I bought. We will try out the Stila highlighter in another video. So let me get my mirror and we'll go over like real quick. Uh, I think the foundation is nice. It's for a CC style cream. It does have a lot of coverage. The concealer is nice. Um, even though I powdered it down, it doesn't seem to be really drying under the eyes and it sets well with powder. Now, obviously time will tell as you wear it and this is not a wear test. This is just a first impression. Um, I really, really am super excited that I bought the Tantastic, um, the MAC powder. It's a setting powder. We'll have to see how it goes after I wear it more. I already knew I liked the lip toppers. So I'm very excited about that. It's rolling away. It's trying to escape. And so I think 
and that's everything so again it'll take some time to like wear things and see how I actually feel about them but on first impressions I'm really excited about these items so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here let me know what your favorite products are in the comments down below have you tried any of these things do you love them what's your best Marshalls or TJ Maxx deals I want to know post them let me know so thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video